but every professional around me, I don't know where it cut me off, but I've had professionals around me the whole time. The therapist I worked with, my actual psychiatrist who I worked with on this, like off camera, um, and many other people who very much know their shit. Ever since Katie Morton appeared on the new Shane Dawson docuseries episode, The Dark Side of Jake Paul, there's been a lot of backlash and controversy and people are questioning Katie Morton's credentials and everything like that. So in this video, we're gonna talk about do credentials really matter when it comes to seeking out a good therapist or psychologist? Make sure that you stay tuned. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you are new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health. Most of my videos, I try to help you out with your mental health. I also try to increase awareness, decrease the stigma. And real quick, that's one of the reasons I'm so glad that Shane's doing this series. Whether you love it or hate it or whatever, it has people talking about very important mental health subjects. But anyways, if it sounds like you're into this kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So with this video, um, I want to kind of show both sides. I did this in a video I made the other day about Katie Morton. I want to show both aspects of it. And one of the reasons is, is that I'm somebody who struggles with a lot of black and white thinking. And you might know what I mean by this. You think all one way or all the other way. And you can really tell in the comment section. But I try to come in the middle and just like kind of see both sides of it. And one of the issues that we have is that so many of us have this black and white thinking and we think, oh no, this is right, this is wrong, da, 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 da. But like, we need to kind of come in the middle and realize that every person and every situation is gonna be different. And I, in this video, I wanna talk about Katie Morton, mental health professionals and things like that because a lot of you struggle with mental health issues and I will make a more in-depth video about finding a good therapist or when to get rid of a therapist or psychologist and things like that because that's a whole video in and of itself. But based on the Shane Dawson, Jake Paul series, I kinda wanna focus on this subject right here. So some of the backlash that Katie Morton's been getting, and it's something that I mentioned in my last video, is the way she describes sociopaths and the words that she uses. And Shane, um, that clip I showed in the intro, that's from a Snapchat story he had. And like, you know, people are saying it's kind of dehumanizing them and things like that. Some people are mad that we're talking about sociopaths and that it's like dehumanizing and that it's offensive. And, and that was my like initial fear with this whole thing. That's why it took me so long to do this. Like, I mean, I wanted to do this for months, but I kept saying, never mind, never mind. I don't want to offend anybody. And I'm thinking about making another video about Shane Dawson's Snapchat story. But anyways, one of the things is, is that as a mental health professional, right? Like I, I feel bad, I feel sad, okay? So I worked in a dual diagnosis treatment center for the last few years. Um, I've been in recovery from addiction for six years. I've met a lot of people. So because of my personal experience, and this is something that we all need to realize, because of our personal experience, our, our views are gonna vary. Like, real quick example, if you look in the comments, people who have been negatively affected by a sociopath or a narcissist, their opinions are gonna be very strong towards like, yeah, they're gross, they're disgusting, they're, you know, whatever. But other people who may have not been hurt that bad or um, have a less, I don't know, kind of view that Shane Dawson does, you know, they they feel bad for these people. Um, so, so just remember that your personal experience shapes your opinion. And we, we always gotta take that into consideration. But from my experience, I empathize greatly with addicts and alcoholics. So you, you probably know this, like there's a huge stigma around addiction. There are people who don't wanna work with drug addicts and alco alcoholics. There is such a stigma. People think that, you know, they're just making terrible choices and it's not, a, it's, you know, it's not the same as a different kind of mental illness and all sorts of stuff. But there's people like me where that saddens me and I, I choose to work with addicts and alcoholics. Like that's, those are my people, right? The other thing is, is that I make a lot of videos about um, the mental illness borderline personality disorder, all right? And one of the reasons that I really started diving into borderline personality disorder, aside from my own personal experience with a lot of the symptoms, is that it breaks my heart that there are a lot of therapists 
who do not want to work with this population. There are a lot of people who don't want to work with people with BPD. It's it's difficult. It's it's uh, it's a struggle, you know. And I'm not trying to stigmatize it in any way. It's true. Most people seeking help for borderline personality disorder know that it's a struggle to have people in their lives because of the emotional dysregulation, the ups and downs, um, some of the attention seeking behaviors, and all that kind of stuff. Me personally. I love working with people with borderline personality disorder. That's me. So I'm grateful that there are people like me who will work with those populations of people with borderline personality disorder, addiction. I also work with a lot of people with depression, anxiety, trauma, all sorts of stuff. That is kind of my realm. Okay, now what a lot of you are seeing with Katie Morton and this backlash is, is that you're, you're starting to have your eyes open to this, this very simple fact. Therapist, psychologist, everybody, they are human. They have their own preferences and things like that. So what you need to understand or hopefully you understand or can empathize with is that some of them have certain preferences on who they work with. So a great example, and the reason I got this idea for this video is my beautiful girlfriend, you know, we were we watch a bunch of YouTube and you know, we're seeing what's going on in the community. And you know, she has her views on, you know, people um, who are sociopaths and borderline personality disorder. Now my girlfriend, she actually worked in a psych hospital for like two years, okay? And here, here's just a great example of this, okay? So I was meeting with some colleagues, um, who I worked at a treatment center with, and we were talking and I was saying, yeah, my girlfriend worked at a you know psych hospital for two years. Now, we worked at an inpatient addiction treatment center and my colleagues were like, oh my God, she worked at a psych hospital? So like, you kind of just see that, you know what I mean? But my girlfriend, she loved working in a psych hospital where people at a residential uh, alcohol and drug addiction treatment center, they wouldn't work in a psych hospital. So I'm grateful that there's people like my girlfriend who love working with that population, right? But my girlfriend was telling me, you know, um, uh, some of these stories and there's a story that comes up, like whenever she hears sociopath, there's a story that comes up into her mind where at her psych hospital, somebody who was diagnosed with antisocial personality disorder, they just straight up, straight up punched an old woman employee at the psych hospital and did not care. They didn't care at all, right? And it's hard for people to understand that. It's hard for people to fathom that happening, right? And you know, the the people, you know, in these uh, you know, psych not and not everybody in a psych hospital has antisocial personality disorder. Not all of them are uh, violent by any means. And that's the other thing, by the way, like you guys please pay attention to entire videos and all of their content before you start freaking out. Like, Katie Morton made it clear multiple times that not all of them are violent, okay? But anyways, this is an example that my girlfriend gave me. And like, that's, that, that's what I want you to kind of keep in mind. You know what I mean? I want you to kind of keep that in mind. Like, there's some people who would never do what I do working with drug addicts and alcoholics because I have had over 70 people die. Over 70 people die from overdose and suicide. Some people cannot take that. You see what I mean? So there's different people who are going to work with different populations, right? So the other thing is about my girlfriend, my, my girlfriend, she, you know, enjoys working with people with, uh, you know, things like schizophrenia, who hear voices and see things and stuff like that. I have no issue with that population, but I don't work well with them but my girlfriend does. So like what I'm trying to, what the point I'm trying to get across in this video is there's so many people and I think the main thing is, this is why we need, need more people in the mental health field. Cause we're all different. We all work with different populations. We all bl uh, mesh with certain people. Like what I would ask you to do when trying to develop this empathy is kind of look at your own experience, even though you're not in the mental health field or anything like that. Like let's say you work at retail. Let's say you work in retail, right? Maybe you like working with older people rather than younger people, right? Like therapists, psychologists, they're humans too. So regardless of their credentials, like Shane Dawson mentioned in his Snapchat story that not only did he uh, talk with Katie Morton, who is a licensed marriage and family therapist, he also talked a lot with a psychiatrist, but he also did a lot of his own independent research. Like what you gotta understand is you can get an entire group of people together and they might 
be professionals in the field, but they might disagree with your opinions or views on these things. Same thing, I deal with it a lot when it comes to addiction. I, I see a lot of people who are scientists who disagree that addiction is a disease, where I can find a lot of scientists and mental health professionals who do agree that it is a disease. You have varying opinions. So I just wanna help educate you a little bit more when looking at you know, the rest of this Shane Dawson series, when you're looking at Katie Morton and her credentials and things like that. Like, I hope you kind of have a better understanding. But again, I am so, so, so happy that they're making this part of the conversation now. Like people are talking about these things and I get to make a video and some of you are gonna watch it and you're gonna get educated a little bit more. But like, if you're somebody who struggles with a certain mental illness or disorder and you're worried like, you know, does this therapist want to work with me or do they like working with people with my disorder? This is where I tell you about the amazing online therapy app better help who helps support this channel. All right, so there is a link down in the description and in the pinned comments. So better help, if you don't know, Shane talked about it. BetterHelp is an online therapy app. And basically what you do is you go through and you do an entire questionnaire. And the great part about this is, is whatever your symptoms are, whatever your diagnosis is, you can find a therapist who works with your specific population, right? So they, I've gone through this questionnaire. There are therapists who work with drug addicts and alcoholics. There are therapists who work with people who are victims of trauma. There are therapists who work with people who have borderline personality disorder and things like that. So if you are looking for for a mental health professional to work with you, make sure you check out BetterHelp. It's down in the description below, all right? But anyways, I wanna know your comments and your feedback. Like, did this help open up your eyes a little bit? I, I tried my best to give a balanced point of view. So let me know down in the comments below, okay? So that's all I got for you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, I'm always making videos about mental health. So make sure you subscribe, ring that notification bell. And a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you want to check out the Rewired Soul merch shop with some really cool stuff in there, boom, click or tap right there. All right, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.